This morning, I had the honor of, of a meeting with women leaders to discuss a pressing and deeply troubling issue, the increasing cases of femicide in our country. The stories of lives tragically cut short and families shattered by this vice demand our immediate and urgent action. It is a stark reminder that we must act swiftly and decisively to protect the lives and the dignity of every woman and girl in Kenya. We know that every four out of five women killed in, is out of intimate partner violence, which means that our women are being killed in places they consider safe. I send my condolences and those of these leaders standing here with me to those who are in pain today because of these tragic events. I commend the women leaders for their commitment and the practical proposals and solutions that they have put forward to end this scourge. This challenge requires the combined efforts of government, religious leaders, parents, teachers, civil society, and all citizens of goodwill. Protecting our daughters, sisters, and mothers begin at home, in our communities, and through all other institutions. Let me reiterate that the government, in its women's agenda, is explicitly committed to ending all forms of violence. As leaders, we are united in the resolve to ensure that justice is swift and efficient. I have instructed the criminal justice actors to execute their mandate without delay, holding perpetrators of femicide fully accountable. Gender desks in police stations must be enhanced, and we will introduce similar gender desks services in hospitals to ensure victims receive immediate attention and care. At the same time, we must equip our young people with the skills and awareness to navigate the risks they face in society. Social media has become a dangerous avenue for exploitation, and I urge our young people to treat strangers on these platforms with utmost caution. Parents, schools, churches, and community organizations must step up to provide life skills counseling, and guidance to our young people. We urge religious leaders, too, to use their platforms to speak positively about women, women leadership, women engagement, and help congregations understand that women's rights are also human rights, creating a positive environment for women and our children. The government of Kenya is committed to ensuring that the structures that respond and support survivors do not re-victimize them. Matter psychological support and safe spaces for women and children are a priority in my office. Through the Women's Rights Advisor, we are launching a Safe Homes, Safe Space campaign during the 16 days of activism against gender-based violence that is going to start on the 25th of November. Our communities need education on the signs and causes of abuse and the resources available to victims. Awareness is a crucial step in prevention. We must increase awareness on the availability of safe spaces where victims can seek refuge, toll-free hotlines such as GPV 1195, Child Help 116, and the DCI anonymous reporting number 0800722203, and the counseling services in order to provide victims with the support they need to find protection. As we approach the 16 days of activism against gender-based violence, the women leaders standing here have agreed to embark on a nationwide awareness campaign to confront this vice head-on. This campaign will have the full support of my administration, and we are committing Kenya Shillings 100 million for the Safe Home, Safe Spaces campaign 
and for the next 16 days of activism. And these women leaders will lead the way in making sure, in making sure that our girls, our women, are made aware of the dangers they face, especially when they engage with strangers, when they engage with people in uh, social media, in strange places, with strangers, it endangers their lives and it weakens their ability to be able to extricate themselves. I urge every Kenyan to join in this movement to speak out, to educate, and to stand united against femicide. Finally, parents have a crucial role. And I say so as a parent of four girls myself. Be present and approachable for your children. Let us create homes where children feel safe, supported, and loved. A strong family is the first line of defense against the, the dangers lacking in our society. The women leaders and I stand united in declaring that femicide has no place in Kenya. Together, as a nation, through our concerted efforts, we shall eradicate this vice. We must be relentless in protecting the vulnerable in our midst and unwavering in our mission to create a society where every woman lives in safety, dignity, and freedom from fear. Thank you very much, and I look forward, leaders, to working with you as we join hands, make concerted effort, work together, partner to make sure that we raise the level of awareness of the dangers that our girls, our daughters face in the, um, in the hands of strangers yeah. and in the hands of people who don't mean well for our society. Thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Most sincerely for opening the door for us. Today, we, we are here to give a report back. Just a, a preamble that Reza Shamama in Uajami.